am Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. It's Halloween! For those of you who don't know me, no, this ain't a commercial for American Express. For those of you who don't know me, I'm usually hosting some stupid horror movie. But my friends here at MTV asked me to schlep on in here tonight on account of it's like Halloween. Well, no, as a matter of fact, it isn't like Halloween. It is Halloween. Well, anyway, they figured that if anybody knew about ghosts and goblins and things that go funk in the night, had to be me. Why, heck, it usually is me. And I simply can't think of a better way to spend Halloween than right here with me on MTV. And talk about videos. Oh, that's what it says right there on the cue cards. Talk about videos. Let's send up the rocket. The weirdest, the what you call bizarrest videos ever. Some moldies the coolies and some hot off the press. And just to prove it, here's a little torture. I'd like to be able to carve a swell jack-o'-lantern, but I just don't seem to have a knack. Well, these are a few pointers on the fine art of creating the perfect jack-o'-lantern. Rule number one, you want to start out with a pumpkin that looks like a pumpkin. I mean, don't get one of them gnarly old jobs that looks like Carl Malden's nose on a cold day, okay? <laughs> now, this is a good-looking pumpkin. Now, the next thing you want to do is draw a face on that pumpkin that looks realistic. I mean, don't just start carving away freehand. You might want to work from an actual photograph, like maybe of a famous person like, oh, you know, Ozzy Osbourne or, or this dude, okay? Now, do the best you can at drawing that face on the pumpkin. Use a magic marker like this, you know. I draw a really good mouth on there, okay? And then you, you know, might want to put a nose like that. And then draw two eyes that look right, okay? There. Now, don't that look just like Rick Ocasek from the cars? <laughs> okay, now it's time to carve those features. Now, choose your cutting instrument wisely. Lots of folks like to use the traditional butcher knife for this part. But I prefer this. A chainsaw. <laughs> Voila! A thing of beauty, just like me. There's thrills, chills, and spills aplenty as Macabre TV continues on MTV. Cheap costume jewelry and let the official Elvira costume do the rest. It comes with all this and these. And since it's already Halloween, I am letting these babies go for a mere $79.99. Be the envy of your friends, surprise your husband, embarrass your children, scare your dog, shock your neighbors, Trick and live... Trick or treat, Elvira! Oh, no! What are you doing? You called it all the whole cut, cut everything. You just ruined my whole Halloween costume commercial. Oh, Elvira, are you going to hold it against me? I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? Oh, yeah, right. This is Breather. He makes obscene phone calls. And a lovely three-bean salad. <laughs> all right, so what are you doing bringing all this junk in here? This isn't junk. This is Halloween costume. It is. Looks like something you found on the street to me. Well, I, I did, but you know, Elvira, a lot of us street people can't afford that pricey Elvira outfit. So I've come up with some clever costumes you can find in the street that, that anybody can wear. Oh, huh, that's great, Breather. Yeah, let me show you. Like, like take, for example, Take these smelly old pear slots. No, take them. Take them. <laughs> look, if you hang them on your ears like this, look, you look just like Snoopy. I'm Snoopy. Oh, you're uh, right, Brita. You do look like a dog. Uh, Quirk, somebody call a pound. Thank you. That was Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Oh, look. Look, I got this pair of poker chips. What are you supposed to do with these? Uh, swallow them? No, look. You put them in your eyes like this, and look, you're a little orphan Annie. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll hit you tomorrow as much as I do today. Now get out of oh, wait, here, wait, wait, you? wait, 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 Just do me one favor before I go. Would you please play this tape for me? Where'd you get this? I, I found it in the street. You can't fry an egg on it. 
Now there's the new Elvira t-shirt. It does everything an ordinary t-shirt does and more. It slices, dices, removes warts, and makes everyone's favorite French fries. But that's not all. It also opens cans, waters your plants while you're away, and scrambles eggs in the shell. How much would you pay for a t-shirt that does all that? Well, don't answer. Because the Elvira t-shirt is also a steamer, a washer, a dryer, and a smokeless ashtray. It's a friend, lover, pet, home, shelter, and a pockets fisherman. Yes, it's all this and more. Here's how to order. Send $8.50 to Elvira T-Shirt, Post Office Box 38246, Los Angeles, California, 90038. Send $8.50 to Elvira T-Shirt, Post Office Box 38246, Los Angeles, California, 90038. The all-new Elvira T-Shirt. It's more than just a T-Shirt. It's a way of life! Hello, me, that gal on the tube that has the big rating. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. <laughs> Gee, I can't remember when I've had this much fun. And it's only just begun. Now, as a special Halloween treat, we've taken our MTV cameras to the home of that grandmaster of the macabre, John Carradine. Mr. Carradine gives us the tender story of the loneliest pumpkin. Once upon a time, there was a pumpkin named Jack. Jack was much smaller than the rest of the pumpkins in the field. Some of the other pumpkins used to tease him and call him a gourd, which I think is something like a nerd. One day, the farmer came to the field and put all the pumpkins on a truck, except for Jack, because he was so small and gourd-like or nerd-like. Jack was all alone and began to cry little pumpkin tears until the farmer's daughter came along. No, it's not that kind of story. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, she picked him up and took him home and made him a nice bed of newspapers. Jack loved the little girl, and everything was just wonderful when suddenly the little girl crept up behind him with a butcher knife and drove the blade deep into his head. Oh, 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 cried Jack. But the little girl was relentless. And she didn't stop until she had cut off the top of his head. Poor Jack. The little girl then took a spoon, scraped out all of his brains, and baked them into a pie. Then she carved up his face and put a flaming candle inside his head. But this story does have a happy ending. The little girl won first prize in the pumpkin carving contest. And it was all because of Jack, the loneliest pumpkin. The end. Wow, what a great video. I can't believe it. I love that video. You know I like you, don't you? Oh, well, thank you, Michael. I like, like you, too. And I hope you like me the way I like you. Well, I like you the way you are, and I don't want to like you the way you like me. And I hope you like me. The way I like you. Uh, look, Michael. Uh, oh, excuse me. We'll be right back after we get this straightened out. Michael, like, I like you the way you like me, but it's like, not like you're like me, because, like, you don't even look like me. Like... It's Macabre TV and Lilo Me, America's favorite ghoul friend, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Yeah. 
cranked out the other afternoon. I don't know what the big deal is with these videos. I mean, some guys like Michael Jackson spend a fortune on them suckers. Like, like who knows, maybe four or five hundred bucks or something. When all you have to do is learn to move real jerky like this and then hire some creep-like breather to do the backup vocals. Oh, well, there's more macabre TV right after this. Oh, la, 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 la. Yes, you know, it is a small world. See? But there's one holiday that's just as much fun no matter where you live, and that is Halloween. So let's find out how they celebrate Halloween in other parts of the world. Mmm, okay. In France, the trick-or-treaters ring the doorbell, and when someone comes to the door, they shout, Ooh la la! And open their mouths wide. They don't go trick-or-treating for Hershey's kisses. They go trick-or-treating for French kisses. <laughs> Okay, right here in Mexico, right here in Mexico, the children of Mexico take a tortilla shell and go door to door collecting ground beef, tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese until they build a taco. <laughs> oh, way up in the icy cold of the North Pole, the children are very, very lucky because they go trick-or-treating for frozen Snickers and frozen Milky Way bars. But they also get frozen gum, frozen licorice, frozen apples, and eventually frozen butts. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, another country where they celebrate Halloween is Japan. And in the land of the rising sun, the children dress up like seals and go trick-or-treating for sushi. But there is always the danger of being harpooned. All right. Mm -hmm. And just a missile away from us on the other side of the world is Russia. And on Halloween in Russia, the children dress up like Olympic athletes and then just stay home. Oh, well, that's all the countries we have material for. So now let's all sing the international Halloween song. Sing along in your native tongue. Hit it, Mark. Hong Chow Wee means trick or treat. Ooh la la means trick or treat. Happy Halloween for every boy and girl. Let's all trick or treat as Halloween around the world. Oh, 
and that was Ghostbusters, a truly haunting melody. And speaking of buff, it's me, Elvira. Elvira, Mr. Elvira, say, look, I've come uh, up with some more cheap costumes ideas. Look at this. Take an ordinary scrub brush. Scrub brush? Now, tie it on your head like this, and look, you look just like Mr. T. I'll pity the fool who don't give me no candy. I'll pity the fool. Breather, you better watch out, you know. I mean, Mr. T could read this in the newspaper or something. I mean, someone could read this to him in the newspaper, and he'd get really mad. Why don't you just get... get oh, I pity you. I pity you. I pity you. I pity the fool who don't give me... It I, is the... Oh, I pity you. I pity you. Hi there, boys and ghouls. It's little old me, that gal with the pear that makes the boys stare. Elvira, mistress of the dark. Well, is this some Halloween party or what? Oh, yeah. They're brutal around here. Brutal. Every year while you go out trick-or-treating, your little poochie has to stay at home licking himself which ain't so bad, but why not dress them up and take them along for the fun? Let's say you're going as George Peppard from the A-Team. Why not have your dog come along as Mr. T-Bone? Nobody will slam the door in your face because you're out trick-or-treating with the baddest mother since Shaft. Or let's say you're going as Princess Leia. You know, the chicken Star Wars with the cinnamon rolls on the side of her head. Well, you just wouldn't be a damsel in distress unless you were being followed by Dog Vader. Trick or treat, and may the frizz be with you. <laughs> Let's say you're a big fan of Dynasty, so this year you're going as the evil Joan Collins. Well, why not your dog, too? Lovely Frida recreates Joan Collins' other memorable role from The Bitch. Ensemble complete with puppy panties and barking bra. Thank you, Frida. Of course, it just wouldn't be Halloween unless someone came as the king. Well, heck. Why not let King be the king? Yes, it's canine Elvis. Not the real thing, but an incredible simulation. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, and neither is he. And if you're into subversive Latin American politics, why not your pooch, too? Yes, it's Fido Castro, Soviet missiles not included. So this Halloween, why not take a four-legged friend out trick-or-treating with you? Say trick-or-treat, Frida. <laughs> You're watching Macabre TV, a night of Halloween madness on MTV. I'll be right back quicker than you can say, boo. Billy, if you keep sweating like that, you'll always be dancing with yourself. Hey, Elvira, Elvira. Oh, no, brother. Hey, I've come up with another cheap costume idea. Great. Look, you take an ordinary vacuum cleaner hose like this, and you hang it from your nose, and you can go as an elephant. <laughs> breather, breather, that costume really sucks. Yeah, well, it did once. <laughs> oh, breather, give me a break. All right, I'll give you a break. A commercial break. <laughs> give me a peanut. <laughs> Yes, right now it's bath time. It's back time. Back time with yours truly, Elvira. <laughs> of course, I'm talking about male back time. And this time of year, I am simply swamped with cards and letters from my fans asking for Halloween advice. I am talking thousands, maybe even hundreds of letters. <laughs> oh, okay, this year I got two. All right, listen to this. This is from a woman who writes, Dear Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, this year, I wanted to go dressed as you. Oh, I'm so flattered. I bought the wig and the dress, but it seems I'm missing a thing or two. Can you help me? Sign flat as the board. <laughs> well, flat, I have a couple of suggestions for you. You can either try doing about 10,000 of these suckers every morning, or you can just put the dress on backwards and go with share. <laughs> All right, now my second and final letter. <clears throat> Dear Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, every year I go trick-or-treating over at creepy old Mr. Cresswell's house. 
and every year he doesn't answer the door. I know he's in there because I see him peeking out through the curtain. What should I do? Fine, feeling shun. Well, shun, hun, that's easy. You're bound to run into a crab or two like that when you go out trick-or-treating, right? So always take along one of these girls. All right, I know you're in there, Cresswell. Come out with your snickers up. It works every time. Believe me, when you have one of these numbers, they'll never be tricked out of another treat again. <laughs> well, that's about all the time we have to talk on this time or next time. And in the meantime, just remember to keep those cards and letters clean. What's wrong, Joan? Why so glum? Oh, Elvira, I can't seem to get a boy to even look at me. Hey, Joan, haven't you heard about the new Elvira t-shirt? The new Elvira t-shirt? Why, no. Hey, Joan, how's it going? Just great, thanks to the Elvira t-shirt. Here's how to order. Send $8.50 to Elvira t-shirt, post office box 38246, Los Angeles, California, 90038. That's $8.50 to Elvira t-shirt, post office box 38246, Los Angeles, California, 90038. Do it now. Hello, darling. Glad to see you back. And glad to see you front, too, but that's another story for another time. This hour, I'll be playing videos from my gravest hits collection. And coming up later, we've got the horror movie that put the sick back into classic Night of the Living Dead. Time for me and, well, for all of us folks down here. It's time for reflection. Time to look back and be grateful for all those tricks we've been treated to time when I like to plug in the fire and listen to some of my all-time favorite Halloween carols. And they're all available on this album, Elvira's All-Time Favorite Halloween Carols. You'll get all these all-time favorites. Halloween carols, and they're all here on my album, Elvira's All-Time Favorite Halloween Carol. How much would you pay for all these favorites? Well, don't answer, because if you act now, you'll also get this, Elvira's All-Time Favorite Halloween Carols, Volume 2. You'll get more of my all-time favorites, like I, the mommy, kiss me, Frankenstein. Enough Halloween carols to last a lifetime. Available now through this special offer. Here's how to order. Just a 999 or 9992 Elvira's all-time favorite. Halloween carols, volumes one and two, box time. 9999, Terrors, last question, 9999. No checks, CODs, or money orders. We want your cash only. That's Elvira's all-time favorite Halloween carols, volume one and two. Listen to it with someone you love. Da-na-na-na. <sighs> Later on Macabre TV, it's the classic film Night of the Living Dead. Watch it with someone who's alive. <laughs> Sexuality is all I ever need. Those are words I can live by. No virus, no virus, no virus. Oh. Mm. Breather, what are you doing? Oh, I came up with the best cheap costume of all. This is the best by far. Look, take an ordinary beach ball like this, right? Guess who I'm going to be with this? I don't know. Who? Elvira. Ah. winding down. Do you find yourself stuck with a lot of leftover candy? What to do? Sure, you could squirrel it away and give it out next year, but who wants to be known as the old bag down the street who gives out stale candy? 
That's why I put together this book, Halloween Cuisine, The Art of Cooking with Halloween Leftovers. Now, one of my favorite recipes is Halloween Shish Kebab. Just load up a skewer like this with a mushroom, a bell pepper, a Milky Way, then another mushroom, bell pepper, and a pack of lifesavers. Maybe even a slice of pineapple if you want to go Hawaiian. <laughs> Just fire up the old Barbie and turn. <laughs> All right, as a side dish, everybody loves a good salad. So start them off with this delicious three jelly bean salad. To a bed of lettuce, I just add three cups of jelly beans and toss. Okay, uh, nothing is bitter on a fall day than soup. So be creative. To a couple of cans of tomatoes, add chopped onions, potatoes, which I didn't have time to chop, but <clears throat> a handful of butterfingers, and some M&M's, plain or peanut. Okay, just a couple of mounds bars here wouldn't hurt either. Now, be sure to leave on the wrappers on the counter. That's where all the vitamins are. Now, you want to just cover it up and let it simmer all day long. And when you come home at night, you've got a delicious treat. Just add some Cracker Jack croutons and soups on. You'll find these recipes and hundreds more in my book, Halloween Cuisine. Recipes like gumdrops au gratin, pussy pot pie, and raisinets ratatouille. Here's how to order. Just send five ninety five or eight ninety nine or twelve ninety nine or four seventy five to Elmira's Halloween Cuisine, Terminal Island, New York. No checks, COD's, DROAs, or food stamps. We want your cash only. Elmira. Have a happy Halloweener and bone appetit. Elvira is to Halloween what the turkey is to Thanksgiving, what the ham is to Easter. <laughs> what about the Christmas goose? <laughs> oh, I forgot about the Christmas goose. <laughs> <laughs>